that is the Super Vertical. It's one of three contests the dogs love to play during the Super Retriever Series, which came to Martin during the Tennessee Soybean Festival. The Super Retriever Series is a hybrid of what we call sporting dog events. Um, we, we have three events within it, uh, Superfly, Super V, and Retriever Trials. Superfly and Super V take place in our pool, and Superfly is a somewhat long distance jump. They're measured from the tail of their, the back end of their tail when they hit the water, and there's a measuring device that, that measures that, and um, it'll be their longest distance, and the longest distance wins. And then Super Vertical, which super, we call Super V, is a high jump, so to speak, and the dog is measured by how high he jumps up to get a bumper. And uh, we, co we hold, the, our current record in, at Super Retriever Series is uh, seven foot six inches high. So and it's pretty exciting to watch, that's really fun. And we have seven of these uh, across the country. We started this year in August in Reno, Nevada, and now we're in Martin, Tennessee. We'll be in Huntsville, Alabama, in Lewisburg, North Carolina, and also in Dyersburg, and in Little Rock, Arkansas. And people come from all over the country to participate in these SRS competitions. Some folks bring several dogs. I brought down two dogs. I brought Sir Jackson, who is a superfly dog. Uh, he's not new to that dock. He's been on it many times. Uh, two years ago, he took fourth at the Crown Championships, and, uh, and he's won regionals like this event here today. And uh, he's seven-year-old lab, uh, six-year-old lab that weighs 77 pounds and just loves to get up on that dock. <laughs> It's fun. We like it. And, uh, you know, the dogs like it. I like it. And uh, we make little vacations out of it. We're heading into Nashville when we leave here for a few days. And uh, I guess I'm a dog guy. She's three years old. She started hunt touch training. Um, she flunked out of it. <laughs> so this is a new fun game for her. We hope that she'll jump good, jump 17 feet at least. She's pretty consistent at that. So we're hoping that she'll stay at 17 if not better. The pool is 41 by 21 feet with a 40-foot dock. The dogs are naturally drawn to the water, but the jumping and retrieving require training and practice. To get to the level that these dogs all do, you, you've got to put a lot of training time in. I mean, all these guys train and train and train to get the dogs to, to be able to do these things, you know. We always encourage you know, the amateurs and the local people to come out and watch and see, you know, if it's something they like to do, because it's really something, all these games are something that anybody can really do. I mean, even a, you know, a young kid can come and jump these dogs or, or even run retriever trials, you know, and, and women and men, you know, I mean, it's just, a, it's just kind of family oriented. It's just good outdoors with your dog, have fun. Tanra Brown and her son brought their dog from Sharon to watch. So she'd look at the other dogs and hopefully get some confidence up and they learn how to jump, learn how to, you know, get excited, learn a couple of things. If she had the proper trainer, she'd do it. I do believe. I, she jumps after the kids in the swimming pool. She goes after sticks in the yard. She's she just got to get some confidence up. She's just a teenager. Hold her tight. Esmeralda is, she's not a big jumping dog, she um, is in agility, she's working on therapy dog. I really just want to get her acclimated to the dock so that she can continue on. She likes it. She's just not, um, she hasn't got to the point where she's flying off the dock yet. Therapy dog, what does that mean? They go, um, actually they go to children's reading programs and um, the kids read to them. And um, I'm hoping to get her into the Red Cross and um, work with them. The dog's leap into the pool is recorded on a computer. The first splash is then determined, and the computer program reads out the length of the dog's jump. 17-3. The owners of the dogs get uh, prize money for competing. We, we place uh, first, second, and third. They get a cash payout. Uh, in Superfly, we give back 80% to 20% of the field. And in the Retriever Trials, we have a $17,000 purse that goes out at every qualifier. And we give out about $50,000 $50, to the winner of our crown championship. The top three from each event here in Superfly, Super V, and Retriever Trials get an automatic invite to that crown championship. So that, that's kind of what their, their goal here is to get to the crown championship. 
Like a rodeo, the SRS games simulate the work these dogs are bred to perform. The ultimate test of these highly trained dogs is the Retriever Field Trial. A retriever trial scenario is just like a, it's like a hunt, you know, it's like, it's like if you went on a hunt, a duck hunt or a goose hunt, these dogs, you know, their desire is to retrieve, that's what they like to do, they love to do that, so when you watch one of these tests, it's just a, it's just kind of a fake hunt, you know, I mean, the guys all get in layout blinds and they have their guns and it's just a fake test, you just got rubber ducks to pick up instead of real ones, you know, so it's really, you know, the dogs, they're doing what they think they just do every day. They don't, I don't think they really care, you know. It's like they're having fun, so. They have to have a uh, uh, HRC or an AKC t title in the field, in the, in the trial portion of it. So they have to have a, a, a title in one of those other organizations before they can even be considered to play this one. And, and they have to. I mean, they, they'd have to be at that level to com come play. The SRS will visit West Tennessee again in April 2008 when the games come to Dyersburg. And you can catch the dogs in action on television, too. Shannon and her crew videotape all of the competitions. And that will turn into 13 half-hour aired shows. Actually, 12 half-hour aired shows and one-hour championship show. And that airs on the Versus Network, which was formerly uh, Outdoor Life Network.